So I promise guys, this is not one of JavaScript framework sessions, just like the ramble that you would hear from everybody else. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to talk to you about just a couple of good frameworks which are available in the market and I'm going to cover the ecosystem from the point of view of a developer and I'm going to give you some definitive answers rather than leaving it like every other discussion forum which just leaves you high and dry saying that you choose this is it that's that you know I'm not going to give you that I'm not going to give you a lot of spec I'm going to just tell you perhaps which is a good framework for you to pick up so if you want to stop this video now just look at this framework which I'm showing you it's called Vue.js and it is one of the best frameworks available in JavaScript today and if you really want to go and learn a script JavaScript framework just go ahead and download this and stop this video now but if you'd like to hear more about the rest of the frameworks then please proceed <coughs> so without further ado uh, here I'm going to talk about some of the good things and issues with frameworks in general and uh, I'm gonna pick one or two good frameworks out of them so first thing first, the good things about Vue.js is the fact that it is a very lightweight framework. So if you click on the Vue.js site and you go through their um, the details of their framework, the first thing which comes to your mind and their mind and what they tell you about the framework is that it's a very, very lightweight framework. So this is one of the best things that you would get to hear. Now, why am I saying this? I'm saying this because there are a lot of frameworks in the market today and we will talk about each of them and those those frameworks are big and they require a lot of other dependencies which need to be learned along with it and I will talk about all of that but in Vue.js you simply learn JavaScript and you start developing a, a web app that's about it so first thing first was the lightweightness of Vue.js second thing is that Vue.js is one of those framework which gets started with you know simply doing this so you you just do a CLI uh, you down <coughs> you connect it to the uh, the framework to, the, to, to its repository and you you type a few codes and the hello world messages comes in how cool is that I mean look at the number of codes that you had to really write to get hello hello world uh, and this is the best advantage. Uh, this is perhaps the best advantage of uh, Vue.js. Third thing, Vue.js is having something called as a two-way data binding, which even React.js, which is my next framework to be reviewed, does not have. Now, two-way data binding allows you to connect to the DOM and manipulate the DOM. And when you make changes to the DOM, it also manipulates your bra your, your code in the sense that you, you can connect back to the database. So it is kind of a dynamically updated um, DOM then, uh, which is not there in most of the other websites. Now, uh, sorry, other frameworks. Now it might not be necessary. Uh, I might be tom toming too much about two-way data binding. But nevertheless, today two-way data binding is available in UAJS, which is not available in React.js. Okay, so that's about it. Now, the final thing I want to tell you, uh, and this is something I'm going to talk about the other frameworks too, is what is the connectivity to the mobile ecosystem? Now, most of you who would learn a framework would also want to know how do you start using this, uh, this framework to develop a mobile app? Uh, in case of Vue.js, the, uh, the company has tied up with Weeks. This is an Alibaba-based uh, Alibaba based organization. It's a Chinese company. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to use this uh, organization's uh, SDK and create uh, a framework based on that on Vue.js. So this is uh, how the, uh, the ecosystem is developing. Uh, there is a github repository you can go check that out as well here so you can basis this create a uh, Vue.js mobile app now clearly as you would notice here it's it's an Alibaba company so uh, with that I would now like to move to the next framework and no guesses react so react as you know is a framework which is developed by Facebook and it is developed for a very specific reason 
it is specific it is developed because facebook has more than a billion users and they just are not able to manage operations of browser of every user with all the servers that we that they have there is so much activity which is happening on the browser uh, so they so the concept of dom was created which is obviously a virtual browser uh, to put it very very succinctly um, and a virtual browser is where you go and manipulate data and it doesn't necessarily go, gets an impacted on your html code it simply gets impacted only on that virtual uh, browser and then uh, all the operations once it is finished it talks to the database and and it doesn't touch your code in general so it's a very you it's a very lightweight operations and when well, let's say you have a million users connecting to the same browser and uh, and the number of uh, links that they click are going to be very repeatable you could simply have kind of a virtual browser which will use these uh, functions together and you would not have to really go and manipulate the html page now react is very good at doing that it, it is one of the best frameworks out there today uh, because it is supported by by uh, facebook but, but remember that facebook has a very specific usage for react that's the manipulation of dom and for a very large use case so unless you have such a large use case you perhaps not may want to use react but nevertheless react is a great firm framework developed by great community and it's it's one of the uh, number one frameworks today without any doubt now react as i was mentioning does not have what you call uh, a two way data binding operation because it is one way data binding operation now as i was again mentioning two way data binding might not be necessary for all the operations for a uh, for a facebook type of a uh, company you don't need perhaps two way data binding and one way would do so it's re again coming back to your needs and use cases now as i was mentioning the last thing is react native you can use react native to build mobile applications and uh, you can render this both to the ios family as well as the android family so this is pretty common these days that uh, that coders are developing most of the frameworks on javascript they are not going and building it on android and ios because you don't have to code to separate mobile applications for with two separate resources one knowing ios one knowing android which is java primarily and then creating an ecosystem around that instead of that you create you know javascript you use it pretty much as a as a built native mobile app on the on on, on the on the on the on the browser so this is react native which is the uh, javascript uh, uh, native operation uh, sorry which is the mobile operation app for uh, react now third one no prices for guessing is angular js and i think i would go and click on angular 2 because angular js is uh, no longer supported by uh, android uh, and google uh, so it is kind of going away and angular 2 is coming angular 2 is also known in short as ng2 and the good thing about angular js was that it was a huge framework supported by google uh, one of the biggest software companies in the world uh, but angular 2 uh, is a bane for a lot of programmers because angular 2 does not have backward compatibility meaning that if you know angular 2 you cannot go and uh, put the angular 2 code in angular 1 or vice versa and expect it to be working because they are very different ecosystems and they don't talk to each other so you have to develop something in angular 2 and you cannot use that in angular 1 secondly angular 2 requires you to learn a new javascript language called typescript which is a superset of a javascript uh, it is developed by Microsoft and AngularJS and Microsoft have tied in to use TypeScript uh, and, and take it further. So that is another kind of a bin if I would uh, put it because you have to learn there another language uh, in 
in addition to JavaScript, and uh, that's something that not everybody won't want to. I forgot to mention that in React JS also you have to learn something called as JSX, which is a it's it's kind of a subset of JavaScript, and that's another language you'll have to learn, which you don't have to learn when you're using Vue JS. So these are three frameworks that we've spoken about. Now the fourth one that I'm going to touch base is called Ember, and Ember JS is also very famous and it is quite well known in the industry. It is a framework which uh, which prefers convention over configuration. So it focuses on getting productive and building the app. So uh, it is something which is, if you may, can be said as an out of the box framework. You could immediately get the framework to do something for you instead of uh, yeah, looking at dependencies which can be which needed to be added before the framework can start giving you output. This is good for people who want to start building web apps pretty quickly uh, and it's a very good framework uh, but again uh, there is nothing uh, nothing unique about this framework and it is pretty much like any other framework. Now Vue.js I would like to get back to Vue.js and just compare it with jQuery and I am purposely doing this because jQuery is one of the most famous JavaScript library um, and jQuery uh, primarily says that you do more, uh, you write less and do more. But in the context of uh, the new frameworks like Vue.js coming, jQuery is losing its sheen and jQuery is no longer considered a requirement to build awesome websites because most of the manipulations which jQuery does can be done through one of these frameworks like uh, Amber or uh, Vue.js and uh, plus jQuery is also heavy so jQuery the size of jQuery files uh, is about 86 KB which is quite heavy in comparison to the other Vue.js and Ember.js files which are light and they uh, primarily are able to get you up and running quickly. So jQuery might be one of the good frameworks or rather I would say it's not, not a framework but a, uh, a, a kind of a, a plugin. Uh, um, you know and I know that some of you might contest uh, because uh, it sort of just manipulates parts of the DOM but uh, nevertheless uh, jQuery is no longer considered the sexy boy on the table. It needs to reinvent itself and move on to the next level. Uh, now I'm going to stop here because if I were to go and uh, give you inputs on the top 20 frameworks you could have gone and done that yourself. If you do and type top 20 frameworks in JavaScript you would see that there are dime a dozen you know there is so many of them and I don't even want to get there because this will confuse the hell out of you and you would not know which frameworks to pick and choose but what I wanted to do in this particular session was to give you a very quick review of the top three because that's what is going to be uh, most important for you the developer community is very strong in these three four frameworks so you can pick and choose any one of them so again recapping if I were to go with the framework and I was learning JavaScript I would definitely go with uh, Vue.js if I wanted something uh, to be running out of the box it would be Ember if I were to look for job opportunities or if I'm wanting to work in large organizations React is going to be very good and again uh, Angular this would not take you down anywhere because the angular is a google supported company so it doesn't mean that if you learn this framework you would lose out but i don't think this framework is going to be used by uh, the hipster community or even the uh, the startup community because there is kind of a learning curve here and it's a huge framework and once you get into this ecosystem you stay in this ecosystem unlike other framework which are uh, more language driven than the frame than framework driven angular is more framework driven than language so pretty much everything is done within the framework uh, rather than going out of it so as a developer you might not find it very exciting but if your purpose uh, in life is to get a job out of it uh, angular is a very good framework to pick up so please by all means go ahead and pick angular so those were the four frameworks i wanted to talk to you about uh, again vue.js 
react amber angular these are the four ones that i wanted to talk to you about you can pick and choose from any of these four frameworks if you don't agree with me if you think that there are other frameworks that i've missed out which are equally good i would welcome your uh, inputs and please do not hesitate to put them in the comments thank you very much and do subscribe and give me a thumbs up goodbye have a nice day bye